Hey everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It App, and on today's episode for Stretch It Fundamentals, we cover the Pike Stretch. We break it down, go over several ways you can use the stretch to target your hamstrings, but also go over a few mistakes people make because they feel they're in a rush to touch their toes. We take it back a little bit so we can use our props and different body positions to best stretch the hamstrings. Something you could begin with at the beginning if you feel it tough to reach towards the toes in a pike stretch is just to do one leg at a time. So here I start with my right leg, I'll bring the left foot to its inner thigh, and you can reach forward from here. Starting with one leg at a time better enables you where to feel your hip is in space. Ideally, you want to anteriorly tilt it, send your hip creases back, and have rib cage forward so you could actually target the backs of your legs. You could also go through several arches and curls here so you can feel the difference between rolling back, which is where a lot of people unfortunately stay. And then while their hip is still back, they just move their shoulders forward. They don't feel much of a hamstring stretch. Maybe you can bring your hands behind the hips to better tilt the pelvis and then you can feel your hamstrings here. Another way is to use a prop, wrap that around the arch and perhaps that will better able you to also tilt the pelvis and then puff the chest forward. If you have a prop, you can use that, or perhaps you can use one block either side of the leg so that the floor lifts higher, you can reach your arms forward while maintaining the correct position. You can hold this anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Let's say we are near the end of our hold time and you can switch legs before we do both at the same time. And going through the different techniques we discussed, whether you curl an arch, hold the hands behind your hips, use a prop around the arch to better tilt the hip forward. No matter what, again, we're trying to get the hip crease to stay back, bring the rib cage forward. And if you have blocks here, you have them out in front of you to maintain that position. And let's see how it feels now with both legs in front. I would actually start with the legs slightly separated at your truer hip width apart. Bend the knees, still have hands behind your hips, and use that placement to tilt the hip forward. And just like we did with legs individually, you can do so now with both legs in front, going from your posterior tilt to your anterior tilt, feeling the difference between both angles. And now let's tilt the hip forward. Again, sending that hip crease back, reaching arms forward, and I would still invite the blocks here so that you don't have to worry about touching the floor, but the floor lifts higher towards your hands, so you can worry about maintaining your hip position and not rounding in order to touch the floor. And as you progress, you can certainly bring the legs closer together in this way. Some people are in a rush to straighten their knees and just reach for the toes. And technically, I can still do that, but I don't feel much of a stretch on the hamstrings, right? So in able to place the stretch here on the backs of your legs, we have to get that hip crease nice and deep and we also have to puff the chest so much that we arch the back in order to create that stretch. And like we did with the single legs, you can still use your prop, wrap it around the arches, bend the knees. Don't worry about straight knees just yet, right? If we're here to master the pelvis's position, then we'll worry about straightening the knees once we can keep that anterior tilt. Use as many props as you need so you can create, build that muscle memory. So the minute you move forward, you know what your hip has to do right away. It just finds itself there so you can get that nice deep hamstring stretch while in pike. If you want to improve your flexibility, make sure you check out our Stretch It app. Our link will be down below in the description box. If you want to see more videos like these, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel.